<laughs> when was the first time you found out about your ass hair? I think I was saying next to me, three hours to four. Ah! Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Amen. As usual, it's me, Ming. My name is Raj Mahal. And I'm Joseph. And today we're talking about something that, you know, guys sometimes don't usually talk about. Do guys not do it as well sometimes? Do sometimes. It. Sometimes? Do what? Joseph, take it easy. <laughs> today we're talking about grooming. Oh, okay, okay, all right. All right, so before we begin, obviously we have to define what grooming is. So what's grooming? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, it is defined as things that you do to make your appearance clean and neat. Things that you do to make your appearance clean and neat. So, you know, it's things like dressing well, shaving any excess hair, uh, what else? Uh, does skincare mm -hmm. consider yes. skin yeah, and neat? Skincare, like skincare, obviously. Definitely, yeah. yeah, I think so. Shaving your uh, balls. Um, yeah, oh, of oh, course. Yeah. That, yeah. that had to come I mean, out. Yeah, that yeah. had... So yeah. quickly into we the episode. beat around the bush. Don't <laughs> <laughs> we'll beat the bush, bro. Beat yourself <laughs> off, not around the bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a couple of notes there, right? Skincare, makeup, man. What's manscaping? Is that what it's called? Uh, manscaping. Is that? I know. I just want to know. They are tell man, us there. Manscaping is the act of uh, removing or reducing hair on your body. Oh, yes. The whole body. Uh, no, I mean like the uh, usually it's this area. Oh, so anything So that's the whole body. It's whole body. <laughs> the head also part of the body. I didn't say the head. This one's called a haircut. This is called a face shave. Yeah. And then this manscaping. Manscaping. All you know fun fact? I don't have um armpit hair. Like genetically? No, yeah, I have never grew armpit. I've never shaved my armpit hair before. Do you guys want to see? Do you have I chest mean, hair? No, I don't, bro. So you got no hair in your I body have at all. No hair at all. How Maybe, about in your V region? Yeah, I have there you go. Yeah, I'll show it to you later, but like... Okay, but, do you yeah. want to see it? That's not what you said just now. Yeah. Oh, but no, it's so interesting. Do, do you have chest hair? I, I don't have chest hair. I have fine Dude, hairs you, maybe. Yeah, man, you have Like right five. now, we just have a peak. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I just like, Look at that freaking <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I think when I was younger, I don't know why, but I, I thought the middle parting was dope as heck. Because Cyclops had a middle parting and I had glasses. So this like, middle parting? Middle parting full on. Mine was the side parting and it was flat. Can you oh imagine? You goodness. know back then, like yeah. you don't have pomade and stuff like yeah. that from the like, clay and correct, stuff correct. like that. From it's there. only so, bar cream, dude. It's oil, bro. That means sometimes when you run and your hair goes out of place, you make sure to bro, kind of comb it back. I right? would have a comb in my pocket every dude, time, Dude, you see that at that 12 age years old, bro. Oh, that's what, so good. Like, what about you? I started really late. Like yesterday. <laughs> Dude, that's that I said it two weeks ago. Right? Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> when it comes to properly putting in the effort, I think I started really late, maybe in college. Mm. I think yeah. that's where we start being attracted to girls or guys. Like we start, you know, craving for love. Yeah, sure. and and yeah, yeah. Love, you know, yeah. and stuff. And that's how it happens. Yeah. You want confidence, you want to feel confident, you want to feel need for the person. Accept it. Yeah. 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 I, I think honestly that, that might be the catalyst for wanting to look good or so, right? Exactly. exactly. From because that. I mean, it, it, it's the attraction thing. You want people to notice you. But after that, as you get older, you realize that it's also the way you present yourself. I've noticed that when it comes to shaving your face, yeah. cutting your hair, men are very open to talk about Correct. it. Correct. Mm. Yeah. But when it comes to things like manscaping, shaving the hair on the rest of your body, when it comes to things like even threading your eyebrows, yeah, yeah, yeah. people don't talk about it. Yeah. Men don't talk about it. Yeah. Why do you guys think that is the case? I think they relate it to something, something where it, that is girly related. I don't know. Mm. I don't like know from Make them less manly. Because that's what mm, girls right. do, I think. They, they go to threading and stuff like that. But I go to, I thread my eyebrows all you the time. You thread your eyebrows? Yeah, all the time. I thread my eyebrows. When I first started threading my eyebrows and I told people, I thread they my eyebrows. At you. People laughed like, uh, what guy thread eyebrows? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with guys threading eyebrows? Yeah, <laughs> no man, problem no being problem, that. Man. I remember getting that as well. I mean, yeah. not, I mean, the eyebrow threading not so much, but maybe like uh, taking care of like being particular about my hair or even the clothes, right? Mm -hmm. And people say, hey, yeah, you girl, ah. Well, not just from guys. I get it from like girls as well. Like, hey, you girl, are you? There's okay, nothing wrong in wanting to take care of how you look. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely fine. So, it is can we debunk that myth then? That, that it's completely normal and natural and it should be done anyway. For it, should, guys. it shouldn't be a myth in the first yeah. place. It makes you feel good, why not? Correct. Right. I, I like the thing about confidence because I agree with that. Especially like, after you get a haircut, after you after you manscape, right? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good, bro. I feel, I feel powerful. I feel like, ah. Tell me more. Oh. You know? I'm ready to seize the world. You sound, you sound like a sexual harasser, but <laughs> that's, like, that's just... That's just 
episode down dekh I was only exposed to makeup at the start of the YouTube career okay, okay. Uh, and then we had shoots and then people started putting makeup on our face and I was like yeah. why why do I need this yeah. and then I realized that in front of the camera and lights our faces all the flaws come out mm. whether it's dark circles whether Shit. it's the pimples right if you do dabble in makeup I don't think it's a bad thing yeah. I don't think it makes you less manly if you do it if anything you're really smart because mm. you talk to girls about makeup as well and that's a great conversation starter if it's a job and you need to look good why not right you got to do you do what you have to do stage when you go on the screen mm. like those are things mm. that you give look presentable right mm. so that's why i also have my own makeup kit but like you said lah like the essentials things that you need to have if you are in a you know, job or stage of life where you need to mm. present mm. yourself <laughs> Let's try to give people maybe a benchmark of a benchmark. the mm. basics for each part of body. So let's start with the head. Okay. Um, how often do guys need to cut their hair? Depends, I guess. Mm. Like for me, I do it twice a month yeah. because again, the sides grow pretty same, fast same. for yeah, me yeah. as well. It's just do, to maintain yeah. the hairstyle from Correct. there. What about you? Twice a month for me as well. Mm. Same, Once every two weeks. I, I would say the same as so. well. Cool. But yeah. I mean, for that's people with our kind of haircuts, right? But if people you don't have that sort of the fade, fade on the sides, uh, if your hair is like a long kind of hair uh just cut it as the minute it gets difficult to manage i think washing your hair is so important i know a lot of guys have a problem with dandruff when i was growing up oh. puberty right yeah. i for some reason had dandruff and i was like this is disgusting controversial conflictual <laughs> but i think eyebrows if it gets too out of control we should try to we got to do something we got to do something about yeah. it so so you mentioned you you both of you you guys go threading i threading yeah. I, i do threading as well but i have never it has never gone out of control before right. in my life man i have seen some guys especially as they age yeah. just becomes like mm. huge like caterpillars right caterpillars yeah, caterpillars and understand no, i i try to be a butterfly that's the thing i get it, dude. <laughs> i mean, i, 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 I have the potential to go unibrow i feel like i have the potential to unibrow so yeah. i either kind of like raise it off or i have to Bro. go like waxing Exactly. Oh, I've never done training because I'm a bit scared you of should. the pain. You should. We should all go together. Do you guys do skincare routines? I used to do uh, the whole 26 in one like shampoo, body wash. Wait, 26 like, one. So one liquid just wash everything. Yeah, man. Really? Dude, really? I used to do that it. from there, and I ever since I dated Maggie, and yeah. like I'm exposed to the whole like skincare stuff yeah. from there. Bare basics. What would you say, guys? Need? I guess moisturizer. Um, especially when you're in a cold country, your yes. skin tends to get very, yes. very dry from that. Yes. And a uh, normal cleanser. You really, I, uh, guys have such a big issue with the T zone. Yeah, man. I think there's so much oil build up, and guys, you know, we just we're just sweating all the time. We're yeah. so nasty. You gotta take care you of your skin. Wash your you gotta face, take care man. of your skin. The last thing you want is to look like the crease of your asshole. Am I right? How does the crease of my asshole? Do you want? Like that? Ever since I turned 27, I've been shaving. Once in two weeks. Wow! I yes, am super hairless. All right, back in the days when I was like four, like three to four years ago, I would like shave probably once a month, I guess. Wow, dude, I I don't have armpit hair. Can you imagine that? So so lucky on your face, nothing lah. Nah, man. Look, exactly here. Oh, What about your secret garden? My secret garden, ah. Uh. How how long does it? My garden grows very fast, lah. Mm. This is four days of not shaving. There's not Are you four or five days of my shit. Yeah. I grow whiskers in four days, bro. Four days, man. Days, I've kept my beard longest for about two months. Maybe I remember. The, I remember. Saw, this, right? It yeah. was maybe up to here. It's disgusting. I mean, it's cute. Yeah. yeah, but you gotta yeah. groom it. Some people can pull, like pull it off. You yeah, have to, thing, but you have to groom it almost man. every day. But like one mustache. of the one of the Penang boys, Matthew, he's trying to do the goatee thing, right? Um, <laughs> and it's cute. It's cute, but, way, it's cute, <laughs> but I feel like yeah, even with facial hair, like guys need to be quite. Smart with how they're growing it, because potentially it could look like, like a like a creep real fast. So it's important to start paying attention to this part of your body. I have a few benchmarks criteria. Let's hear it. First one, when you wear a cotton T-shirt and it protrudes, it protrudes. Then it's time to. Then it's time to extrude. <laughs> protrude. Understand? The dish. The head. The head. Oh. Dish. Dish. Come on. Oh. Dish. 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 You understand? How long has how your... long do you ha- does it need to be yeah. to protrude out like that? Not very long. It's about maybe about this much. Okay. Second benchmark when your body odor starts becoming really really strong. But can you smell your own body odor? You I cannot right. smell my body so odor. So who do you trust on that? I got some some some, some pillars in society. That yes, <laughs> that will tell me that without me asking them. Coming from someone who potentially may have bo. Yep. What is the best way for friends around that person? I think this is applicable for everybody, not just hairy boys and girls, right? Mm, mm, Anybody mm. who has BO, what is the best way 
to um, uh, politely that. inform that you smell like a dead fish. Exactly like, like that. Bro, you huh? smell like shit. <laughs> That's yeah. the most polite That's thing. That's not polite, ever. Like, bro. If it's me, why, why do I have to go up to you and say, oh, bro, actually, don't mind me telling you, uh, like, today you smell a bit like... Funky. Like something died like that. Inside okay, let's practice. Like, Joseph, you know, I don't think you can be polite okay, for yeah. that. Okay, That's okay. we're going to practice. What is the, okay, what is the right way? I'll do. Mm. So you're the one in the view, right? I'm the guy in the view. Hey, bro, how are you, man? Hey, man. Doing good? Yeah. What's wrong, Raj? Do you smell something funny? Uh, it's funny you mentioned that, bro. I think you used a new deodorant now recently. I never used deodorant. Oh, right. It's, look okay, y'all. Yeah, it's... Don't mind me saying, bro. Body odor. Very cow today, bro. Very luck. Today. So that's so so is, is that the approach? You gotta like it's like not make joke. it serious. Ah, it's like yeah. today with girls and boys. If you're watching this, please take note. That is probably the best way to tell somebody about Bio. What's the deal with pubes? Why why do we have pubes? How do I do? Am I supposed to do the answer to that? Hello, I'm sorry. I thought you were the right answer. But when was the first time you have ever discovered your own pubes? When Dude. I was in Form 1. Same, same. I That's remember. I, remember. Same. I got shocked. I got bro. shocked, bro. Form 1? Yeah. I got it when I was Form 3, bro. I don't know why I'm telling this story, but I feel like, if we're all going to be honest, I'm going to tell my story. So, Form 1 or so, uh, I'm going to take a shower, right? Yeah. And then I'm just going to clean myself. And then, I was washing my nether regions, and I was like, eh! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to wash my body. And I was like, eh, there's a, there's a, there's a hair from my head. Oh. It's there. So I, I, I brushed it off and it didn't come off. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then I, I, I held the hair. And I was like, I, I go take it off. Uh. Ow! <laughs> and then I realized, it's not my hair. It's the pubes. It's the pubes. Oh my goodness. I mean, honestly, nobody in school thought prepare you all for this shit. The last time <laughs> I trimmed my... So you trim? I trim, I trim. Okay. I trim usually from there. When it gets a little bit too hairy from yep. there, I trim from there. So it was uh, that time of the year again, I usually go for a doctor's checkup uh, yep. because I have like um, high PSA, it's called prostate something antigen from there. So every year I go to the uh, neurologist, I think that's yes. what you call them, to check from there. So I knew I was going to see him. It was a guy by the way. And what I did was I had to trim because yep. it was Guys. It's like, you know, Troll the movie, like the... Yes! It's like coming out from the... Like, you know when you're rushing out <laughs> and then you wear the band, the elastic band of your underwear and then it comes out from there like, whoa, holy whoa, shit. shit. And then you start playing with it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I cut it and I accidentally cut myself. So oh, was, shit! It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. It was just like a line from there. I thought, ah, fuck it, why not? I gotta go. I gotta rush to the, uh, the urologist on the same day, like two hours before. From oh, there. I'm still really in the No, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't, it's like, it's like when you shave and you got like a small look. Yeah, yeah. There, so it's fine. So I went all the way there and it was the most awkward thing ever. I have never shown my balls to any doctor before. I understand. This is like the third time. And then with the same doctor, he's old by the way. So uh, when I went there, I saw him, I said hi. And then like he looked at me, he said, Ah oh, boy, take your pants out. I see your kuku chow. <laughs> so I lied down on the uh, examination bed. <laughs> Took it off, awkwardly looking, staring at the, the ceiling <laughs> yeah, from yeah. there while he tries to examine it from there. Yeah, he yeah. touched it from there. I said, Oi, boy, why you got cut here? I, uh, shaving incident, uh, accidentally cut. Oh, oh, oh boy, <laughs> for me, uh, you shave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, so if you ever, ever see a urologist, please shave like two to three days before, all right? Because you might take it the wrong way, all right? My pet peeve is you know sometimes when you go to Sunway Lagoon or any theme park or you know swimming pool right and then you have guys who don't wear uh, surfer shorts to swim oh they wear, they wear the speedo hardcore briefs, speedo bro. Like they, the they, fuck, they, they triangle that shit up right when they wear triangles right it's fine how big or small your package is you, that's your story to tell it comes out like that like but Simba when, from Lion King when bro. it's a freaking peep show at the pubes huh? especially along the thigh region Wow, bro, that's nothing to imagine really, bro. I would rather see you butt ass naked <laughs> than to see. <laughs> uh, but you, you shave? I clean shave. How do you shave? With what? Well, technically, the good way to do it is to use clippers first. <laughs> clippers. Oh, electric? Yes. Oh, wow. That is the best way to do it, especially if you know yours grows very fast. But I use a shaving blade. That's so scary! It's Ooh. not the it's... most efficient way to do it. 
but it gets the job done. Here's a fact that makes me very scared about uh, using a razor okay. on your nether regions. Okay. I don't know if y'all know about this, but the human body, when it comes to guys, right? Um, that region has a lot of crevices, mm. a lot of uneven ground. Yep. And I haven't even talked about the nut sack yet. When you're talking Ooh. about the nut sack, right? Dude, that it's, it's wrinkled sometimes, it's not. How do you not get cut? With the razor blade, bro. Oh, even do you get cut all the time? You just like ah, <laughs> ah, blood again. <laughs> like, then you go to your urologist and it says, "Oh boy, uh, shame for me again." Me. <laughs> how, how how do you avoid bloody balls? I usually just. I really want to know because I cut no myself. Just, can you show me to me or not, please? I I I, I for my nut sack. For your nut sack. I pull the skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you even it out loud. Even it out, yeah. yeah. So uh, let me give y'all a good illustration. <laughs> Imagine your elbow skin here. Raj just kind of pulls it out. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first discover that you had hair in your ass? <laughs> oh, bro. So, I think I was. Why did we just say question alone? I just dropped the bomb right away, <laughs> Raj. Nobody in Malaysia has <laughs> talked about this. Bro. Let's talk about ass hair. Let's, let's talk about let's, ass hair. Right? About like, ass hair. It's a problem, alright? <laughs> <laughs> it is a problem. It is a problem. Joseph, let's hear it from you. Okay, the first time I found out about ass hair, alright? And this was uh, when I was 18. So I was scrubbing my, my ball sack, you know, and you slowly go down, you know. You go into your asshole, you wash your ass grease. And then I felt something like moving around there. So I thought, oh, maybe it's a hair. Like, you know, the pews get stuck and stuff like that. So I, I did this. And I, when I plucked it out from there, it hurts. And I'm like, I started screaming like, F I have ass hair? Is that a thing? Because I didn't know that's a thing. And I just looked at my ass the entire time. Like, I was playing with it at the same time. So, and then after, for like, great good, like. <laughs> 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 Five seconds playing with it, I'm like, oh no, f man, dude. <laughs> I got, I had to let it go from there. What about you, Raj? When was the first time you found out about your ass hair? I think I was in like standard three or standard four. Ah, huh? standard three, standard four. Standard four, I'm pretty sure. Standard Hold four. on, just, just what? to recap. Yeah, I you had, had pubes in form one. I had backside hair in standard four. Pubes came out in form one. I was playing Maple Story that time. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> And the four things, right? <laughs> so anyways, the announcement came out, you know, the message box, you have been playing for four hours, go and take a break, came out. Then I stood out, you know, I stood out from the chair and I was sweating my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> so then, I wanted to go and shower. But before I showered, I took off all my clothes. You went to the mirror. I went to the mirror. <laughs> I went to the mirror, opened my legs, and then I looked. <laughs> And you see my ass reflection in the mirror and then I saw hair growing. How do you deal with ass hair? Can you deal with ass hair? I would highly recommend not touching your ass hair. Why? Because you if you shave it, up, it bro. how you want to pluck so many hair in your backside or you want to pluck bro? You need to break the mirror. Pluck! Cannot do Group them together! The ting goes Make a wish! Ten wishes! <laughs> If you shave your ass hair, uh -huh. it's going to grow back thicker, longer and painful. So that is all the time we have to talk about our crotches and butts today. <laughs> Guys, the best thank you so much for watching this episode of Amen. Again, if you have any questions, please, please, please remember to hashtag Amen asking for a friend to suggest topics or send in your questions. That's right. I hope you guys took away something from this episode because remember, when it comes to the grooming for guys and girls and everyone in between, it's all about being confident and making yourself presentable. So don't worry what anyone else says. If you want to do a 20-step routine each time you wash your butt crack, just do it. 23. 23 steps. Spoken like a true doctor. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.